hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial i will show you how to do this super easy and cute headband so let's get started so in order to make this headband i'm going to chain 75 so i've created a slip knot so let me start chaining 75 So here we have done a chain of 75 so now we need to slip stitch in the first chain so i'm going to go so this is the first chain just make sure you the chain is uh, you know has not turned around so i'm going to do a slip stitch insert my hook into the chain pull through put the loops so i have done a slip knot now to start the second row i'm going to chain three two and then I'm going to chain in the next I'm going to do a double crochet in the next chain so this is the next chain so this is where we did a slip knot and right next to it I'm going to do a double crochet And I'm going to do a double crochet across So you can continue to do this i will see you at the end of this row so i am almost at the end of my first row this is the last chain so i am doing a double crochet so you should have a count of 74 double crochets including the first chain that we had created so that's counted as the first double crochet so you should have a total of 74 double crochets so now what i'll do is now i will slip stitch in the third chain this is the first chain this is the second chain and this is the third chain at the top so i will insert my hook wrap my yarn around and pull through so i have done a slip stitch in the third chain now i will chain three again so this is considered as the first double crochet wrap my yarn around and in this 
the chain next to it I will do a double crochet wrap my yarn around do a double crochet in the next So I will continue round two again with double crochets across and I will see you at the end of the row. So now I am at the end of row two. So I will repeat what I did in my first row. I will slip stitch in the third chain. And then I will chain three. And repeat the process of doing a double crochet across until I get a total of five rows so you can increase the width you can make more number of uh, rows depending on the width of the band so I will see you at the end of my row five and I will show you how to finish it off so you can continue this pattern and see you at row 5. So I have now finished all 5 rows and I have done a slip knot, a slip stitch in the last chain to join the row. And this is how the headband looks so far. So I will cut this loop. tighten it. I'll just pinch the edges. And wrap my yarn around it. I'll cut, I'll cut the yarn a bit and then wrap it around. So you can cut it as whatever length you want. And then wrap it around Oops. then I will just make a knot so this is how my headband looks And I will weave this ends on either sides. So I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. So if you did, please don't forget to give a like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And do stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.